Thursday from the TA in Hillsborough. Still no load. <laughs> no load, but we got a couple projects finished this morning. We did. Yes. We, we cocked the bathroom. Got that done. We uh, around our our cooktop. I don't know. Maybe I've already told you all this, but the way it's mounted, there's like a, a gap in between where the cooktop and the countertop is. Yeah, so yeah. Food and stuff would get down in there. They didn't silicone that or seal it. So we had got some clear silicone to, to put around that to keep food from getting down in there. Yeah. Got yep. that done. Well, so we just, didn't we do something else? Oh, we stopped at Freightliner Oh, yeah, yesterday picked up a little bit of coolant. Up some coolant and we topped yeah. our coolant yeah. off. It's was... been slightly low since we picked it up, but mm -hmm. I wanted to get the Freightliner coolant to put in there. I mean, it probably don't make a difference as long as it's <laughs> the type that's required. But what else did we get from there? Oh, a cabin air filter. Oh, yeah. Jason yeah. did call on a load that was picking up out of Houston. Oh, yes. But it had to pick up by 1 o'clock. Yeah. And it's 1130 noon it. right now. So, and we're like three, four hours away. So, yeah, so it was a really good one too. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Oh my gosh, it was really good. <laughs> it was like <laughs> a lot of money. Yeah, it was, it was paying good. It was a hazmat load, so yeah. it was paying good. But... I'm going to have to watch, keep watching. And that was off the low board. Yeah. So, man. Uh, keep a really close eye on that because yeah. you never know that one lobe pops up and if you and that's one cool thing with the with the Landstar low boards though is you can get phone alerts for those yeah you can set up parameters of how much the yeah. charge should be and where you're at where you're at yeah. yeah yeah all that good stuff but we've just never used it that much but in I guess with freight so slow right now that I have to start doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we may have to start. Yeah, there were there was a couple of things that came across the uh, the Qualcomm, but nothing around here. One was um, picking up in New Mexico. It wasn't a long run, but it was paying really well. But when we called, actually, it was a, a mistake. They didn't need an express truck. They needed an RGN or a flatbed, flatbed type trailer. Covered cover yeah. tarped kind of thing so, so. yeah we're just uh getting a few <sighs> things done i think the last big projects we need to do and they're not really even big projects but get up there and recock the um solar panel the solar panel it hasn't been leaking but uh, we haven't really been running in a yeah. lot of rain so and we want to check the cover for our rooftop ac and when we're driving and it's real windy we it sounds like it's rattling it up there rattle. so we just want to check it and make sure it's not maybe it's loose. missing like a screw it's like four corner screw system yeah. so maybe it's just missing a screw or a loose screw or... yeah we don't want that blowing off while no. we're driving down the road so we just well, need to you check you can get that. replacements for those you can but yep. I don't want to have to go find a replacement. Yeah. Well, I don't want it to blow they're up like and hit somebody's car or something. Those shrouds are like $200. I yeah, think. they're expensive for, are for just a piece of plastic, really. Yeah. Well, it's a specially designed plastic with <laughs> air. Yeah, okay. Oh. But yeah, I think I'm going to, um, I'm waiting for the silicone to dry on the stovetop. I'm going to make us some lunch. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make some low carb sandwich wraps so because I, like I don't want to start the, do the cooktop while that's not dry yet oh yeah yeah let it full give it 24 hours mm -hmm. probably Ooh, and now that the bathroom is done we get to try the shower out how long does it take for that to dry uh, i don't know 30 minutes an hour that's maybe it? oh wow i would think should guessing have, should have looked at the tube huh oh yeah <laughs> i mean i'm sure you'll be able to if it's tacky to touch but yeah because you want to make sure no. that's good and dry before we do that how what a boring week what a boring week <laughs> uh, i mean gosh we sat six days in california not too long ago and that was pretty boring it was i like it I and yeah we don't mind it sitting. sucks being so close to home though and not I being know. able to go home and get our mail and things like that i mean we could but i don't want to 
Yeah, we, we just don't want to jeopardize Mama Crafty. And thank yeah. you for everybody on the suggestions. I know we told you we were going to buy our new TV. I know a lot TV. I know a lot of people suggest like Costco yeah, and different yeah. places and online, and that some Best Buys are open doing curbside delivery. So and, we'll we'll definitely buy it from Best Buy because I have a Best Buy credit card that I can any purchases over a certain amount i get like a one year interest free financing and instead of just dropping the cash on it i'd rather just finance it and make the payments it's you pay the same amount no yeah, interest so, like so cash and you have yeah, yeah yeah and plus i build up points with best buy and i got this like elite status with mm -hmm. them and they send me all kinds of like discounts and yeah. things like that so but and yeah, we when, could do the curbside if we yeah. wanted, but then we have to take it inside our house. Yeah, get it set up for her. Set up, so. and we, I guess we could tell her to go to the 99 cent store and we can come in and <laughs> install true. it. Or, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll figure it out. I yeah, don't know. We will. We're, we're, Thanks for all the recommendations. Yes, absolutely. Though. Thank yeah. you guys. Yeah. Love it when you give us suggestions. Yeah. But yeah, I, man, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what time is it here? It's two, is it two o'clock already? No, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still, Still a chance. Still a chance. Yeah. Not likely. This week. <laughs> we'll I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to get deadhead out of Texas. Yeah. I'm going to hit up, look, uh, do some truck searches, see where not as many trucks are. Contact those agents. Ask them if we deadheaded over there. Could they use us? And, you know, at least try to get something. Yeah. So. We'll see what happens. We'll cool. keep you guys updated. <laughs> Happy Friday! Happy Friday. Got us a load. Got us a load, yeah. It's a shorty load. It is. We actually already picked it up. Gosh, how long ago? What time is it now? It's going to be Oops. our only load for the week, too. It is, but we've got another load lined up for next week already. We do. And this load gets us closer for that load, so. Yeah, yeah. It's worked out. And, and we had actually lined up the further load away first, and then got lucky and got this load, yeah. so. The next one is pretty exciting, but you'll have to wait till the next one yeah, yeah, to find out about that. Yeah, that's gonna be a pretty that. exciting one. <laughs> Not exciting. I would say more scary, but it's it's, it's different it's from different. what we've normally done. Yes. So. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. We are still in Texas right now. We're how far from Lubbock? Uh, about an hour. About an hour on the back roads of Texas. It's yeah. beautiful out here. It is beautiful. Um, it's flat, but flat Texas out this way is just beautiful. It is. We, yeah. we picked this load up. It's Oh, I guess we should tell you about it. We picked it up in Dallas, near Dallas. Garland, Texas. Garland, and it's going to a place in New Mexico. 450 miles, or 460 miles. Three pieces at almost 7,000 pounds. Big load. This Big is load. the heaviest one we've had in a while. We're real we truckers now. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hazmat load too yeah it is a hazmat uh corrosive yep. liquid corrosive liquid so but it's supposed to deliver direct we're still probably what three hours from uh about four hours probably yeah three four hours will be delivered it's kind of out that, in the middle of nowhere then we'll have the weekend off to deadhead we got about 800 miles from there to deadhead but we are going to get to travel through moab this weekend i'm so excited and with time to to check out the scenery a little bit of time yeah. we see we got a lot of driving still we do. We 800 do. miles that's uh, uh about 16 hours of driving for us yeah but we should at least have Sunday to be able to stop through Moab and see some stuff. Yeah, and... that'll be, yeah. Cause the next load actually, right now it's scheduled to pick up Tuesday, but the agents working to see if we can pick it up Monday. Yeah. So we won't know until Monday, but we do want to be up where it's going to be picking up Monday, just in case we can pick just up Monday. Just in case, yep, yep. But again, you'll find out in the next blow. That'll be the next one. So. <laughs> when we stopped here to do our driver swap, I'm going to take over, get us the rest of the way there. It's a short run, yeah. so I'm staying up with her, uh, you know. Yeah. yeah, we've just been up together all day, and, well, she's been in the sleeper. Yeah, Yeah, I but, have, but... but we've been 
talking and yeah i've know, been working on some video editing video back editing there and, and yeah. playing with the babies yeah, and, yeah, yeah. but all right well i'm gonna get my pre-trip done because we don't want to kill too much time we want to get there and get this offloaded before yeah. it's too late yeah, yeah. they said we can offload it tonight so we'll see <laughs> fingers crossed that is correct yeah let's do it all right <laughs> you just hit my gut <laughs> this thing sticks out so far <laughs> Catch me howling at the moon What's up, you guys? Look at this, this behind us. I don't this, know if you can even see it. It might be cut off. This woman's trying to kill me again. <laughs> we are in Utah off the US 191, heading north almost to Moab. But we stopped here. This is Wilson's Arch. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. We're hiking up to it right now. Yeah, look how far we've gone so far. <laughs> you can see the truck way down there. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah. She's kind of trying to kill me. I'm telling you, I wore shoes this time though for this hike. Yeah, it's not that bad. Last time when we went and seen Horseshoe Bend, is it Horseshoe Bend? Yes. Yeah, I wore flip-flops and she didn't bring water, but she didn't bring water this time either. So. I didn't. Hey, I offered to go back and get one you said no. So. Yeah, we'll make it. <laughs> we are going to climb up all the way up to the top up here. You know what? We didn't even tell you. We got delivered last night in oh, New yeah. Mexico. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that oh, went yeah. smooth. We got there at like 930 yeah. last night. They got us offloaded. And uh, we started deadheading. Well, we got to... We, we deadheaded, deadheaded to two hours to Santa Rosa. Yes stayed at the loves there they were the only ones that had a spot yeah. we stopped at the ta first they were full went over to the loves and then got going this morning man i'm out of breath already i know <laughs> the elevation well, doesn't yeah help yeah we're like seven thousand feet <laughs> elevation and i'm 300 pounds <laughs> hiking up a mountain so this is the stuff <sighs> i love yeah but yeah we left santa rosa this morning and started because we have to deadhead like we said to pick up <laughs> our next one this next week which you'll find all about in the next vlog of course yeah yeah but this is cool we're getting we have the time to stop and see some cool stuff along the way yeah yeah it's cool that we get to stop and see this because mm -hmm. i know she's been wanting to forever I have. and she seems to think we've been through here before we have twice and she's done a 30 minute break he at this slipping. parking section no i didn't not here i'm, I'm saying that we're on the 191 above i-70 no i stopped she's, at the rest area that's 10 miles I, up the road i don't ever by come the hole in this route in the, hole in the rock i don't ever remember coming this route because you were but, sleeping but i do the routing <laughs> who does the routing I'm going to have to go back through our vlogs and find yeah, where I got yeah, footage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to the top. Let's go. All right. Well, we Woo! made it. We made, made it back it. to made it back to the truck. <laughs> she didn't kill me not, this time. Not this time. Not this time. She ain't gonna get me yet. It's gotta be when he least expects it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that would have been a good insurance claim. I, I think insurance would have paid out on that one. It was so cool up there. A beautiful view. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Um, it, as you just seen. Yeah. Because, and yeah. it wasn't really that hard of a hike. No, yes, it was. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. Well, Look yeah, it. we're sweating. It's 60 degrees out, and I'm my B.O. Like, I have the best deodorant there is. He does but have some good deodorant. I just got the sweat on of a lifetime, and it just, <laughs> it said yeah. deodorant be gone. But I have to say, it was definitely worth the stop and going up there. Oh, yeah. It was worth, worth, it, worth it. And we got here just in time, too. Yeah. Because the sun's going down. I mean, you could probably see it's like shining on my face here. Yeah. So we got here Beautiful. before the sun. That golden hour. Yes. That's what they call it, that golden hour. It's uh, just you, the color of the sun through the atmosphere. It just, it, it's yeah. beautiful for filming. And, it is. Yeah. Beautiful. But, All right. All we're, right. We're heading 10 miles up the road. To a rest area. To a rest area. Or, we're, or we might stop at Hole in the Rock. It's closed, but I think there's parking there. But I think what is there's that? some cool scenery. That's an arch. The Hole in the Rock, I think, is a store. 
it's a big rock and I think they have a store in it. I think the store is closed because of what's going on. That's a hole a, in a rock. It is a hole in the rock, but they call that an, it's an arch. Uh, <laughs> they, were, they have bats up there. I, I don't know. She didn't think there were I bats. Know. I think there were bats. Maybe. There were probably bats. <laughs> All right, let's All get right. going. We'll All catch right. up with you guys later. Good Sunday morning. Happy Sunday fun, fun day. <laughs> <laughs> From Woodside, Utah. We are at the Horse Canyon View area. It's like a little rest area. We stopped here for the night. Yeah. And stayed the night here. And guess what we did last night? We used our shower for the first yes, time. Finally. That thing was amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so nice. The only thing we need to do now is we need to get um, something for the shower head where we can stop the water you know turn it on and off yeah. as we're showering to yeah. conserve water yeah you know like when you're soaping up you can turn yeah. it off soap yeah. up and then turn it back on without losing your water temperature yeah yeah because <laughs> there was a couple times i burnt myself like i you did i, I heard him in there <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would turn the hot. I turned the hot up, and it started coming through, and it started warming up. It so gets I started. Hot quick. It gets hot quick, and I, just trying to find that balance was really. <laughs> it, 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 it's not fun. So I know we can pick one of those uh, little shut off things uh, up and put it in between the the water line, of because our shower it. Uh, it's on a wand, like one of those wand things that you can put up, but it was better than most truck stops we've been at. Uh, yeah. I All was, TAs, like TA, TA Petros ain't got nothing on our shower. I was really impressed with the water <clears throat> pressure, that shower head was nice. I don't even know what kind it is. Um, I was looking at getting one of the Oxygenics uh, shower heads because I know a lot of RVers use that. We may pick one of those up just to try it yeah. and see how it works with our water pressure and all come that. With it, one of those little shut off things. Yeah, so. we had tried one of those once before in our first RV. Yeah, but I can't remember. It it's been so long. It wasn't very ago. good. No, but maybe they've improved them. I know a lot of RVers use them. Yeah, yeah. So, I but, mean, they, they came highly recommended back then too, yeah. but I think it was just in our RV, the water pump or the water pressure wasn't good enough for it. Yeah. So I think the water pressure in this thing, the whatever kind of pump they put in there is yeah, awesome. It was perfect. It was great. We didn't run out of water. We both showered. Both showered. And we hadn't filled the water up. I think the last time we filled the mm. water up was when we were in Hillsboro in Texas. Yeah. So, gosh, yeah, last week, what, Thursday, Friday, maybe? And, of course, I've been using water to wash dishes and stuff. But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We had not gotten something to catch the water yet, though, but what we did was we parked in this little, like, dirt area that's kind of mm -hmm. off around where, you know, people don't walk and stuff. So um, it was just like a dirt lot, big dirt lot. So we just let the water run on the ground there. But yeah, a lot of people are recommended to get like a five gallon jug and stick it under there. Yeah, and, so you, know, you can you know, like, measure how much water it uses or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Really nice. I'm so glad we finally got to use that. I mean, yeah, we'll be definitely using that. We're going to be using it a lot more a now. Lot. A, a lot, lot more. Yeah. Like we, we could pull into a truck stop and uh, fill up the water, go go in the park, uh, go back to the parking lot, shower up, <laughs> and then uh, go top it off again, you know? No, man, yeah. It only took us two months to try it for the first time. I know, right? Now we're hooked. We're hooked. <laughs> we're hooked. I don't think we'll, I mean, we'll still go in truck stops just because oh, yeah. we love the Pilot Flying J water pressures. Mm -hmm. Those things are like fire hydrants. I know, they are really good. And they're yeah. usually always nice and clean and, and stuff man we had a great time yesterday oh my gosh Just that was so beautiful i love when we're able th that's one of the things i know we've said it before but one of the things we love about this lifestyle is being able the times that we're able to able stop to and stop. do yeah. stuff like yeah. that. We drive by so much stuff I all know. the time that we just we never have the time to stop and see it and 
I think now too is a really good time for one. It's not super hot. It was really nice outside. Yeah. Plus, with what's going on in social distancing, there was hardly anybody there. Yeah. And we did get there towards the end of the evening, right before sunset. But I, st it was just beautiful. I yeah. mean, I, we yeah. could have stayed there even longer, but of yeah. course the sun was setting. I wanted to get down back to the truck before the sunset. Wouldn't want to be climbing down that in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. But oh my gosh, yeah, it was so beautiful, and there was a another yeah. lady there um taking pictures and stuff and we visited with her a little bit and she, she uh took some pictures for us we took some pictures for her that was really nice yeah she was real fascinated with our drone yeah she was, she was all taking pictures of the drone <laughs> and the little videos and yeah it was funny but it was beautiful man again that's what we love about doing this this uh I would say job, but it's really, I mean, it's, yeah, it, to us, it's not a job. It's, it's a lifestyle and we love it. I wish we would have found this lifestyle no. so much sooner. I know, me too. So but much sooner. Uh, what took so long? I know, but we just love it. I mean, I'm sure y'all can tell by our videos. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, but anyway, we're going anyway, to anyway. end the vlog here. Yeah. And we got, what, how many more miles to go? Um, I think it's like a hundred, we got about three hours, a hundred and. 80 miles to get closer for where we're picking up this next week which again you'll find out in the next vlog yeah i don't know if we're gonna be picking up monday or tuesday it's set for tuesday but the agent said he's gonna find out um if we can pick up monday so yeah. but you'll find out about it again like in the next vlog yeah. so thank you guys for coming along on our adventures I, I i'm really excited about this video i think it's gonna be a good one i think this one's <laughs> gonna be a really good one thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing and tell our next video peace love and expediting Shoo.